God wants you to have a better life. I believe as we choose, we can have a better life. The better life that God wants you to have is paid with miracles. This is the place for miracles. And I believe in miracles. Lindsay, I believe in the power of God and His miracles. And the Lord recently said to me, I am stepping up the miracles. And we're seeing it happen. Lindsay, you know, you know this to be true. Just the other day, maybe a couple of weeks ago, I did a Zoom healing service uh, through a ministry in uh, French Pakistan. Canada, up in Quebec, oh, mm -hmm. but it was, it was sent live to Pakistan. That's right. And there were dozens of churches whose entire congregation were there, as well as people watching in Middle Eastern countries. Uh, I've been hearing testimonies back. They've already had more than 300 healing testimonies that they've received, including Sarah, who's in Pakistan, watching live on Zoom, stomach problems for three years. But when you prayed, I felt the power of God enter me. I started to jump because I was healed by the power of God. And Amir is in Kuwait. Oh, wow. Was watching that event, had a blood clot in his right eye, and the blood clot cleared up within 15 minutes of the time we prayed together. And then uh, 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 John, who is a pastor in uh, Rawali, I hope I'm saying that right, it's in Pakistan, he said, I was watching, and after you prayed and encouraged us as ministers to lay hands on the sick, our congregation stayed for three hours while I wow. laid hands on them. Wow, Lindsay, God the Lord. is doing what he said he was going to do. He's upping the miracles. Well, I think that he's not doing as much of upping something. God's always wanted to pour out the miracles. I think what's happening in a sense too is that we are believing for it so that he can up well, the miracles. Well, I'm believing for it. <laughs> and as we believe it, you know, I've always thought, and I don't know why, I've always thought of it like a magnet theory that God's got all these miracles and that we could magnetize them into our lives. You know, Jesus mm -hmm. touched, when the woman touched the hem of Jesus' garment, he said, I felt virtue go out of me, went out of him, and that virtue went into her like a magnet. Why? I mean, to me, that was upping the miracles right there. Why? Because her faith, in a sense, magnetized those miracles and she received what she was believing for. Lindsay, one of these churches was right on the Afghanistan border. Oh, wow. Pakistan Good. and Afghanistan, where the two countries come together, mm -hmm. one of the churches and their congregation was there. Wow. Or he was there to, to, to see God performing miracles. Now that's what I'm believing for. I'm believing for the miracle power of God. What is your need today? Lindsay and I are going to have a, a, what I'm going to just call just a healing service. I'm going to pray over people's healings today. I've got tremendous testimonies. And, and when, I, when I read one, I'm going to stop and have Lindsay pray that I'm going to pray. And we're going to believe God for special miracles today. Lindsay, I'm declaring this as healing day. You know, I think that we need to go into agreement. It, you know, we can get into agreement with, with okay, I'm going to say like um, virus numbers. And tomorrow they're different numbers. Or we can go into agreement with anxiety and tomorrow the anxiety is not there. Or you can go into agreement with some report you heard and three hours later it's a different report. When we go into agreement with the Word of God, the net result is what? The Word of God. Mm -hmm. The Word of God talks about healing and wholeness and miracles, signs, wonders. The Bible talks about Jesus and wonder working miracles. Why did Jesus come to the, the earth so that it could be crucified? Why? Because of some cruelty? He came to the earth for miracles, signs, and wonders. He brought heaven to earth. There's no disease. There's no worry, fear, torment, lack in heaven. God doesn't have to say, oh, let's go out to the grocery store because we're out of groceries. It doesn't happen. In heaven, there's no lack. He's got no parts. Lack. He's got parts. <laughs> He's got, I, I always say that if God can make you with, with certain um, absolutes when you're born, you're fearfully and wonderfully made. If God needs to reevaluate and readjust because of something that's gone haywire in our lives, He can do it. Remake and rebuild. He can remake it. You know, my dad, like you said, was a Lincoln Mercury dealer. If my dad can call Ford Motor Company and the Lincoln Mercury division has spare parts, that's really cool. Great. So, so you need a new tire. Wahoo. There's like how many to choose from? Well, if Ford Motor Company cared enough about its product 
to make spare parts? How much more yeah. does God care about His creation yes. fearfully and wonderfully made in His image? And He's not sitting up in heaven and said, shouldn't have done that, suffer. No, He's God. He can take care of anything we have need of, but we have to stretch out to Him. The woman with the issue of blood, That's she right. had to stretch out to Jesus. Well, get yourself ready for a healing service in just a few minutes' time. Get your prayer request ready. Let your family and friends know about it. In just a few minutes, Lindsay and I are going to start this healing service. But right now, Jordan is coming to sing. <laughs> The great unknown where feet may fail, and there I find you in the mystery, in oceans deep, my faith will stay. My soul will rest in your embrace, for I am yours, and you are mine. You are mine. Your grace abounds in deepest waters. Your sovereign hand will be my guide. Where feet may fail and fear surrounds me, you've never failed and you won't start now. And I will call upon your name and keep Lindsay, I just got this report from our lead pastor in India. You know, I've been in India uh, four times now for the past three years, and I think I've laid hands on almost 5,000 Indian pastors. We'll be there again this, this year with another group of, of pastors, but I just got a report. They just had a meeting in a village with 330 young people. 
and 150 of them gave their hearts to wow, Jesus Christ wonderful. during that service. They gave them all Bibles. Uh, they're also distributing food and other things, uh, ministering to people. Our pastors are going out and they're learning about healing the Holy Spirit and seed faith. And Lindsay, that's my heart. And that's what God told me I was, He was going to do. In fact, I have a vision in my heart of laying hands on 100,000 pastors in that one nation alone. That's a vision I have in my heart. Well, I tell you, they are very, very open and receptive to miracles. And I thank God for that. And it's something that they have not always um, necessarily been exposed to or understood. And, and, the, and even when they are exposed to it or they get a revelation of it, they just seem to grab it and run with it. They're so open to the gospel, so receptive to the gospel. And, and I just think it's wonderful. And talk about pastors' hearts. When we see some of the pictures of pastors going into these villages, the tiny, yeah. tiny remote areas. I send them all to you. Yep, I get them and I just, I'm telling you, it has been such a wonderful blessing. Many different things though, not just ministering pastor-wise. We've helped women in, in um, sewing shops. Well, so and, it's named after you. They have a sewing school. It's I named after Lindsay. <laughs> I do, I really actually do. And they're and learning a trade. They're learning. Most and, of them have husbands have passed away and, and they're now going to work. And they can go to work, most of them out of their home if they choose yep. to, so they can take care of their children. That's right. They can get funding money in and they've learned a trade. And it's been, you know, not only that, it's great self-worth. And I tell you, I, it's just been exciting. So a lot of the things that the pastors have been innovative in is healing. Now, the most import, important thing to me is so many of those pastors never knew that they could pray for the sick. Many of them told me, we've never prayed for the sick. We didn't know we could. And I taught them, you know, the message I teach on methods of healing. I've taught that all over the world on different ways that God heals. Now they are praying for the sick every day, Lindsay, and they're seeing miracles. And that's what touches my heart so much. Now, speaking of miracles, um, this is from Beatrice, who's down in Crowley, Texas. When you were at our church. Heritage I, of Faith. Uh, yes, yeah, well, you at our church, you prayed for people with glaucoma that leads to blindness. And I have been prescribed with eye drops to slow down the process. But when you came to our church, you said, if you're believing for healing for your eyes, I want you to stand up. And then you began to pray. I stood up, I took off my glasses, my eyes just shot. Now these are her words. I started blinking nonstop. I couldn't control it. It must have been for 30 minutes. God has restored my vision and the diagnosis has changed. She is healed by the power of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, Thank Lindsay, you, Lord. Uh, there are a lot of people suffering with eye problems, glaucoma or cataracts or things, things. And I want you to pray right now because what God did in Texas, he can do where you are right now. I pray for you right now from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. I pray especially for your eyes. I pray for your eyes to see. God really invented, created, and made our eyes to see. So I pray for your eyes to see and to see clearly. I pray for your vision to clear up. I pray for glaucoma or cataracts or any other diagnosis. I pray for God's perfect vision to come into your eyes. And I pray for you to have vision to see what God wants you to see. Maybe it's a spiritual vision. Maybe it's vision for a company. Maybe it's vision for a new idea or an invention. I pray for your eyes physically to yes. be healed. I also pray for your eyes spiritually to be healed. In fact, I've been as I'm talking, I see somebody who is really seeing things through an unclear perspective. You've made some judgment calls maybe in business or maybe here or there or even of other people and your eyesight has not been so clear and you might have good eyesight, but your spiritual eyesight, your spiritual insight That's good. has been in a sense clouded by other thinking and other perspectives. But in the name of Jesus, I pray that you see through the eyes of God. You see through the eyes of potential. You see through the eyes of faith. And most of all, you see how God wants you to see. I pray for you physically, for your eyes to be healed, emotionally, for your eyes to see clearly. And I pray for your vision, even if it's provision, I pray for that for you in Jesus' name, that you see a way out. You see that God can provide, oh, I could do this, or here's an idea. Just like our pastors in India, here's an idea, and, and they take it and they run with it. I pray for God to heal you in every way concerning your sight. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. 
Now, Lindsay, here's another one that I want you to pray over. This is Renee. She's out in the Phoenix area. She's had tremendous pain uh, in her esophagus uh, that goes, goes all the way down here. And the doctor said there's no cure for what, you, what she has. She wrote a letter to me and, and I, I answered her letter and I prayed for her. She said, I want to tell you, I woke up the next morning with no pain. Now, Lindsay, there are people that have pain in their esophagus. They have problems in their stomach area, kidney, liver, lower tract digestion. Would you pray over people like that? Well, first of all, I don't believe God has created pain just for you. I really don't. I don't think God said, hmm, let's change the Bible and create pain. I think that Satan comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And I pray in the name of Jesus for pain to go. Let God arise and enemies scatter. I pray for pain, whether it's in your esophagus, your stomach, digestion, in your head, in your ears. Uh, you may have a pain in the neck. You may be a pain in the neck. You may be saying you have a physical pain in the neck. I pray for pain to go. I pray for you to swallow normally. I pray for you to digest normally. I pray for esophagus, burning ulcer, um, ulcerated something, like an ulcerated esophagus. Now, I don't know if that's even a medical term, but I'm telling you, I pray for God to heal you. And I'm, I've got my hand in a specific place right here. I pray for God to heal you. Any kind of pain when you swallow right in here, uh, thyroid, glands, I don't even know all what's in there, but I pray for you to be healed. Your neck, um, what do you call those discs in your neck, mm -hmm. um, where you turn your neck, yes. a bulging disc. Um, um, what are those? Um, like fused where it might have already been all fused those or Lindsay. need to be fused. Everything in your neck be healed, yes. be healed, yes. even for you to be able to turn your neck properly without pain, uh, whiplash, anything that has created pain, I pray for you to be healed in the Jesus' name. The Lord just said, name. tell Lindsay to stretch out her right hand right now and just pray in gen general for healing. To stretch I out your right hand. I pray for you to be healed in Jesus' name. You know, I love baseball. I love, I've, I've been around baseball since the day I was born, I think, and I started going to Detroit Tiger games at two. And you know what you do when you throw out the first pitch? You toss it out. And I stretch out, why? Because I am praying that as I toss something out to you, you receive it. Yeah. I pray that as I toss the word out to you, through the spirit of the living God, through these airwaves, I toss it out. As, as, as you can hear sound go off, can't you receive spiritual healing like you can hear something with your natural ear? I pray you can receive it. I pray for you to be healed. I send out Psalm 107, 20. He sent his word to heal them and deliver them from their destructions. I pray for you to be healed and for you on the other end of my sending to receive it, for you to be healed from any pain, anything, any sickness, any disease, any torment, any bad thinking, any, any nervousness, any, anything that just really doesn't line up with the word of God. Yes. I pray for you to be healed in Jesus' name. There's a really Amen. powerful anointing on you, Lindsay, right Praise now. Praise the Lord. That's why the, I think the Lord had me have you do that. Two other testimonies. Uh, a woman in Trenton, New Jersey, called for prayer for her sister diagnosed with lung cancer. And also a woman in Arcadia, California, whose niece, niece's son had three masses that were diagnosed as cancer. Well, when we prayed, now the doctor says the sister is healed. There's no cancer. And the, the niece's son, now they found that the masses are not cancer after all. Well, God has performed a miracle. And Praise in the authority the of Jesus' name, anyone having any type of cancer, cancer in the blood, cancer in the bone, cancer in the breast, cancer in any organ in your body, cancer in the brain, any mass, any tumor, any growth, in Jesus' name, I come against cancer. You foul, tormenting cancer, you come out in Jesus' name, and I set my faith with you. And no matter what your healing need is, there's an anointing here, it's flowing through Lindsay, it's flowing through me right now, in the name of Jesus, I take authority over it, I pray, I believe, and I expect the best. I expect a miracle, in the name of Jesus. And if you feel like you need further prayer, call the Abundant Life Prayer Group at 918-495-7777. Now, Lindsay, let's stay in this same attitude of faith and prayer as Jordan sings. Save me, O oh God, from myself, from my ways. Give me a heart after you. Steadfast and strong is your love all my days. 
overwhelmed by the pressures of life? Do you feel like giving up because it looks like things will never change? In Richard's new mini book, Expect the Unexpected, he shares four biblical keys which can unlock a new world of God's healing power and miracles to give your faith new strength to believe God for the unexpected and the miraculous. To order Richard's free mini book, Expect the Unexpected, just go to oralroberts.com. Thank God for that singing. Thank God for Jordan, for the anointing of God. And you were talking about what you just felt a moment ago while she was singing. While she was singing, I felt the word reoccurring strep throat, um, that you like take an antibiotic or you have a strep test and it comes out positive and then Keeps it gets to back. where you think it's over with and whew, you're done with it and then it reoccurs. I pray for that cycle of reoccurring strep throat to be broken. I pray for any strep throat to be gone and to stop, but the reoccurring cycle especially to stop Stop, stop in Jesus' name, amen. Well, to go back to what I was saying earlier, God said, I'm stepping up the miracles. If you've had a healing, I'd like to know about it. Contact us at the Abundant Life Prayer Group at 918-495-7777 or write me, Richard Roberts, or go online, oralroberts.com and let me know what God is doing or if you need a special prayer. Also, be sure and, and order my newest little mini book. It's yours and it's free. Expect the unexpected. You know, it's easy uh, to expect, well, the same old thing. You know, it's always been this way. It's Trouble always going to be this way. Three, no, 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 no. Six and seven. Expect the unexpected from God. I believe this little book will be a blessing in your life, but I don't know that you want it unless you let me know. So call or write 
or email and let me know what you want, if you want it, and I will send it to you. It's free, and I pray and believe it will be a blessing in your life. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your seed gifts sown unto the Lord uh, through this ministry. Every time you sow a seed, you have a Bible right to expect God not only to use it for His glory, but then multiply it back to you because that's exactly what the Bible says. Lindsay, there's a testimony in here. I don't have time to read it. But a husband and wife said, through your teaching on seed faith, we've been able to pay off $18,000 oh, in credit wow. cards. You know, you say expect the unexpected. We have been, I'm not going to say programmed. I don't like that word. But we have historically been he hearing the saying, expect the other shoe to drop. And it's negative, right? That's right. Okay, so why wouldn't you say, think about me, expect a new pair of shoes. I mean, and <laughs> we could expect the negative or we could expect something that's more of a blessing. Why would we expect something that we don't even know is coming and we set up the platform to give the devil the opportunity to let the other shoe drop in a bad way instead of expecting the miracle. Or you said a minute ago, trouble comes in threes. Yeah, why? 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 Oh, I've only Who had two, that? so I guess I got to expect one more trouble. No, you expect, you know, and I believe when we step up our expectation, yeah. God steps up those miracles. And that's why I wrote this little mini book, Expect the Unexpected from God yep. for you. As I said, it's yours, it's free. You don't have to pay for it. No, no, it's free of charge. I want to give it to you. Just let me know you want it. Write me Richard Roberts. There's the address or online or oralroberts.com or call the Abundant Life Prayer Group, 918-495-7777. As I said, thank you for your seed gift. Every gift you sow helps us to reach the gospel of Jesus Christ out into people's lives. And don't forget when you go to oralroberts.com, look up our Instagram, look up our website, look up our Facebook page, podcast. YouTube. YouTube. Oh, I'm doing a weekly podcast. A, a wonderful, uh, and name some of your guests on and your weekly soon, podcast. And soon, soon you're going to be starting a podcast exactly. too, right? Exactly. Well, mm -hmm. I've had Bishop uh, T.D. T. Jakes. Jakes. I've had Joel Osteen as a guest. I've had uh, Andrew Womack as a guest. I've had LaDonna Osborne, as T.L. Osborne's daughter, as yep. a guest, and many others. Uh, and and uh, Jerry uh, Savelle. Jerry I Savelle. Mean, some lovely, lovely conversations uh, about Chapman. expecting a miracle. Dog the Bounty Hunter is, is going to come on. He, he agreed to come on. I love dog. Dwayne Chapman, love that man. Love, love, love so, him. Uh, wherever you download your podcast, expect a miracle with Richard Roberts. Go to oralroberts.com, look up all the different things, and, and then soon, don't forget your book. Soon, you're going to be doing one. Soon. Soon. Soon and very soon, I'm going to be doing one. Because he said, no, no, I'm, I really I'm do excited. want to do it. I'm I really glad. do want I'm to glad. do it. I'm glad. Yep. Well, so we God are expecting that. a miracle. And you know what? Stay in that attitude of expecta expectation. You know, as soon as this program comes uh, goes off the air and you may hear a phone ring or you may get something in an email. or what, No, no, no. Stay in an attitude of expectation. Thank you, Father God, that you've already prepared my miracle. Thank you, Father God, that no matter what this day brings in the natural, you have already prepared my miracle in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And get your testimony to us. If you have a healing testimony, let me know. Or if you need prayer, 918-495-7777. God bless you. I expect him to do it. We'll see you next time here from the place for miracles. <laughs>